Hey, thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. I'm Mark Allen, and um, the old adage goes that if you're going to collect comics, don't uh, neglect the antique stores and the old bookstores. And uh, this is a uh, this is one of those uh, tales. This is one of those uh, stories of uh, uh, something found, a good deal found at a uh, a, a local antique store. And um, this was a few months ago, several months ago, that I never got to share on YouTube. But for sixty bucks, I found two short boxes. I don't know if you call that a small collection or just an accumulation, but uh, two short boxes of comics. And uh, let's see what those are for sixty bucks. I thought I've got a pretty good deal, but you can tell me what you think. So let's take a look. All right, here we are with box number one. Let's pop the lid off here and see what we have. We begin with Batman number zero. And uh, from there, Batman 471. We'll just count them down. 471, there's 472, 473. Now, I have gone through these before. These are the vast majority of these are high grade. Um, a few have sp uh, some spine breaks notice noticeably, uh, but most of them are high grade and, and nice books. Uh, 475, 76, and then it jumps to 488, 488, uh, an early Travis Cherist cover there, uh, 488, same with this one, 489, and, uh, okay, and then so, 490, 492, 493, 94, 5, 6, 7, oh, two issues, uh, 497, where Batman has his back broken by Bane, 498, and then two issues, two both both covers of 500. The um, uh, the uh, Batman the foil embossed gatefold cover, Batman 500, and then the regular cover, uh, beautiful Kelly Jones cover on that one. A lot of these have great Kelly Jones covers. Uh, 490, there's 499, and then there's 501. 502, 3, 4, 5, oh, 6, nope, there's 505, 6, 7, 8, 9, 511, now that's that great Batgirl Zero Hour cover, that's one of the ones that has some spine breaks, tiny spine breaks, unfortunately, 511, and then there's uh, issue 515 of Batman the Black, uh, embossed cover of Batman 515. Batman, or the Detec Detective Comics, number zero. Detective Comics 654, 655, 56, 57, 58. More Kelly Jones goodness on the cover there. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, hang on, let's go back a little bit here, 71, gotta love that uh, classic Monsters cover, The Mummy and Frankenstein on, on the cover of Batman 671, uh, Kelly Jones doing his great thing there, uh, 72, again, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. There's Batman or Detective Comics 682 with again the dark embossed cover there. All right, so 682. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight number zero. Great Quesada cover. <clears throat> Legends of the Dark Knight number 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Batman Shadow of the Bat, number zero. And then Shadow of the Bat, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 26. Oh, there's Batman, Shadow of the Bat, uh, 31, with another great zero hour cover. <clears throat> and then Shadow of the Bat, 35, another dark foil, or dark embossed cover. And then it jumps to Adventures of Superman 500, the, um, the white bagged edition. Three of those. 
three bagged editions. Okay. Three copies of that book. Robin number one with the, again, the, the foil, embossed foil cover. That's just a great cover. I've always liked that. I always liked Tom Grummet's art anyway, and that cover, just his art popping out of there is just awesome. Robin number one. Robin number eight. Number nine. Jumps to number 14. That is another Batman embossed cover. A Robin, but Batman image. Catwoman number six, number seven, 12, 13, and then Justice League Task Force. Lots of Night Quest, Nightfall books in here. Uh, Justice League Task Force number five, six, and then Showcase 93, number seven, and number 14. Outsiders number seven, number eight. Catwoman, Wildcat number two. <laughs> okay. And then a reprint of Daredevil number 164. I'm thinking that's the one that came in a Marvel Legends with a Marvel Legends figure. Ghost Rider number one was in there. And that's a great, great book to have. This got me excited. Batman, Vengeance of Bane. First appearance and origin of Bane. It got me excited until I saw... Second print. That is a second print, but it's still a great story. I was glad to have it. And uh, also Vengeance of Bane. That is a first print. And uh, Vengeance of Bane 2, I should say. And um, the Redemption. Great covers. Great, wonderful covers on those. Uh, I can't remember that artist's first name, but Fabry. But anyway, great covers. And uh, also included in here was a set of uh, Batman Sword of Azrael. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And, uh, of course, first appearance of Azrael and uh, kind of uh, his first story. So right away, right off the bat, that box in itself is worth more than the 60 I paid. So there's that box. Let's see what's in the next box. And we have, oh, we have an Action Comics number 377, wonderful Neil Adams cover. It is a, uh, it is a, uh, a reader, you know, it's kind of a reader, kind of a beater a little bit, but still a beautiful cover. Okay, and then Superman, or Supergirl, I'm sorry, Supergirl 685, well, this was, it was called Supergirl in Action Comics for a while, but it's Action Comics, I should say. 685. And it's a third print. It is part of a funeral for a friend. And um, after Superman's death, six, eight, Action 686. Another copy of Action 686. 687. Both co covers. 688. 689. 690, 691, 697, 704, 705, 798, nope, 698, 498, I'm sorry, The Adventures of Superman, 498, 499, 501, 501, both covers, 502, 503, 504, whoa, let's get some focus, 510, <clears throat> 517, 518, 19, 529, 593, 595, not quite the uniform, uh, uniform nature of the Batmans, 606, 608, 609, and then we have... 
Oh, Superman number one, volume two, number one. That's always a neat book. I've, I've got multiple issues, multiple copies of that by Bernard Austin. Uh, Superman number 74, first print. Superman 75, first print. Okay, and then Death of Superman, the, uh, the black, the black bag. And with, uh, I'm not sure if that card came with it originally or not, but uh, just not sure about that. All right. Um, so that was Superman 75, black bag edition. And then the Superman, yeah, we covered that. 76, 77, 78. Both copies of 78, three copies of 78, two of the blue uh, cover. 79, 80, 81, 82, two copies of 82, three copies of 82, and then another foil 82, and two foil 82s, 83, 88, 94, 95, 96, 106, 107, 108. My goodness, they're just not in the order that the others were. 128, uh, let's see, Superman, Man of Steel, 128. Superman, 171. 172, 173, again, Superman. Uh, Superman, 184, 186, 187. And then back to Superman, 17. Ooh, I believe that might be the first appearance of Doomsday. I believe that is. Uh, so Superman number 17, Superman Man of Steel, I'm sorry, number 17, Superman number 18, first print, 19, 20, 21, 22, two, both copies of 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 32, again, these are Man of Steel, 39, 40, 50, 51, 52, 50, nope, nope, 100, Superman, Man of Steel, number 100, 115, 117, 130, 131, and then you have Superman, Doomsday, Hunter Prey, this was a good story, book one, book two, and book three, so that's a great story there. Uh, Superman, Where is Thy Sting? That is one I've never read. J.M. Demetrius and Liam McCormick Sharp. Liam Sharp, oh, okay. Um, that'll be a fun read. Superman, Where is Thy Sting? Superman, oh, the wedding album. Number one, with the, with the wedding invitation in there and everything. The event of the century, of course. John Byrne cover, can't see it. Because the invitation's blocking it, but that's okay. So, Adventures of Superman, or no, the we Superman the Wedding Album, special. There it is. There they go. There goes the, there they are. Look at the wedded bliss on their faces. All right. Superman and oh, DC Comics presents number 65, Superman and Madame Xanadu. Uh, the Legacy of Superman, number one, one shot. World Without a Superman, trade paperback. The Death of Superman, trade paperback. Uh, Doomsday, Justice League America number 69. i got to read the Doomsday first because it's Doomsday. But uh, anyway, another uh, great addition or a great uh, installment in the Death of Superman storyline. And Justice League America number 71. Justice League America number 70. And then Doomsday Annual number one. So, 60 bucks, I think... I did okay for 60 bucks. What do you think? Let me know. And thanks for watching Four Color Commentary.